It has always been said that a picture is worth a thousand words, or at least that's how the popular saying goes. However, in this video, I will reveal to you that this is not always the case, that throughout history photographs have emerged, have generated many more questions than answers, hiding behind them terrible stories and incredible situations that today you will have the opportunity to know about. So stay with me. My name is Leonore Clay, and this is The Darkest Secret. Today we present scary photographs that no one has ever been able to explain. Number 6 Tell me, what would you do if one day when you got home, you found an envelope of letters? You open it, and inside, you find photos of your own house. Photos you didn't take. And from every possible angle. This is what the family who moved to what is now known as the Watcher House experienced. These are just some of the first photos the family received. Some of them were of drawings, made with some kind of sharp element. Just put yourself in this family's shoes for a second. They didn't have any enemies. This could just be a joke. For them, these photos had no explanation. However, the situation began to worsen when the envelopes no longer only contained photographs, but letters with terrifying things written inside. The first one said, Dear New Neighbor at 657 Boulevard, let me welcome you to the neighborhood. 657 Boulevard has been the theme of my family for decades, and as its 110th birthday approaches, I have been put in charge of watching and waiting for its second coming. My grandfather watched the house in the 1920s, and my father watched it in the 1960s. Now it's my turn. How did you end up here? Were you drawn to the house? Do you know the history of the house? Do you know what's inside the walls of 657 Boulevard? Why are you here? I will find out. Do you need to fill the house with the young blood I asked for? Better for me. Was your old house too small for your growing family? Or was it greed to bring me your children? Once I find out their names, I will call them and draw them to me. I asked the woods to bring me young blood, and it seems that they heard me. You don't want to make 657 Boulevard unhappy. You have children. I've seen them. So far, I think that there are three. At least the ones I have counted. Are more on the way. Who am I? There are hundreds of cars that pass outside 657 Boulevard every day. Maybe I'm in one of them. Look out of every window on 657 Boulevard. Maybe I'm in one of them. Look at the people walking outside 657 Boulevard. Maybe I'm one of them. Welcome, the Vigilant. Obviously, this letter scared the family, and they contacted the previous family, the Woods, to ask them about these letters. To their surprise, they said that they had received them as well. This prompted the family to go to the police, who advised them not to tell anyone about the letter. A few days later, the family receives their second letter. The watchman wrote in it the names and even the nicknames of their three children, and adds, Have you found what's on the walls yet? Scared, and while the police were doing their job, they hired a former FBI agent as a private investigator. Yes, the Broadduses, as is the family name, were wealthy, 
They acquired this house for more than $1 million. That investigator makes sure to analyze who delivers the letters and who approaches the house. However, he cannot stay 24 hours a day. Yes, for most of the day, but not 24 hours a day. This is how soon they receive another letter which appears out of nowhere, almost as if it were the same house that wrote them. In this letter, the watchman complains about the changes that the family is making to the house. In this letter, the watchman complains about the changes that the family is making to the house. He mentions that the house cries with every change they make to it. There was so much concern that this would get out of hand that they decided to sell the house and sue the Woods for not telling them about these letters. When they left, they received yet another letter to their new address, which requested that the young blood return to the home. The Bratises put the house up for sale and it remains without buyers to this day, especially because the history of the letters remains very much alive. And to date, it is still not known who or what wrote them. Number four. For some hikers exploring the rugged landscapes of Norway, this image haunted their dreams for days. Letters and numbers with no apparent meaning that were found abandoned in the forest and that were linked to a strange incident that to this day remains without any explanation. You see, as they entered through a rocky area, the family of hikers found not only this piece of paper, Beyond, there was a broken umbrella, jewelry, empty bottles, a watch, rain boots, and finally, the deceased body of a woman burned. As you might guess, they quickly called the police, who discovered even stranger things. All of the women's belongings, such as jewelry and watches, were placed aside as if someone had left them there deliberately. All the tags on her clothing had been removed. Even the empty bottles lying on the ground had their labels removed. Why, you may ask yourself? Why would someone remove the labels from everything? One reason could be for the police to not track the location where it was purchased and then check the security cameras for the time that they were bought. Three days after her death, two suitcases were found abandoned at a train station. Inside that suitcase were some glasses with fingerprints on them that belonged to the woman. But that's not all. There were wigs, money from different countries, and a lotion whose label had also been removed. The police later managed to find out that the woman had checked into different hotels under different names, meaning she had at least eight different passports with different identities and changed hotels frequently, something the police often call conspiratorial behavior. They analyzed the documents that she filled out at said hotels and the handwriting matched the image that I showed you at the beginning. Thus, they were able to conclude that that code represented the hotels on which she had stayed at and their dates. She wrote everything in code. The entire case related to this woman is extremely mysterious and interesting. For example, her teeth were sent to be examined. The doctor who was making progress suddenly died and the woman's teeth disappeared to be later found in a warehouse of another remote hospital, along with samples of the heart, lungs, among other organs of the mysterious woman. Many suspect that the woman was a spy, especially since all this occurred during the Cold War. However, no country claimed her, nor did any family member, nor was it possible to determine where she came from or what her original country was. That makes me think it was probably 
a murder. What things could she have done, revealed or exposed, for someone to want to give her the worst death there is? By fire. Something quite disturbing to ponder. Number three. You have most likely already seen this photo, and it has existed on the internet for a long time. However, I have never had the time to analyze it. It's about a time traveler from 1941. It is a photo from more than 82 years ago that has many people convinced that time travel is real. It began to circulate on the internet in 2010 and its context is about a photo that was taken at the reopening of a bridge in Canada. At a first glance, the man stands out from the public, and it's because he's the only one dressed in clothes that are extremely unusual to the others. He is not wearing a suit. He's wearing a kind of cardigan that even has an apparent hood. But what draws the most attention is that t-shirt with a print. In 1941, t-shirts were used as undergarments and did not have prints until 1950. There are those who say that it was a hockey shirt. However, all hockey jerseys from that era that I could find have a small collar and usually more than one color. Is it really a time traveler or just a person with his own style of clothing? Number 2 I saved the number 2 spot for a set of general images that have circulated on the internet and that are absolutely mysterious due to the lack of context they have. The first of them corresponds to the photo of this boy. According to what they say on the internet, this photo corresponds to a group that took a long trip. They stopped on a dark hill to take a rest. That night, they took many photos without knowing that one of them would go down in history. From the angle in which the creature appears, it seems to not be a setup. However, no one knows the full story of this image. Then we have this photograph. Nobody knows for sure what the story behind it is, but it looks very old and it doesn't look like a montage. The body really looks like the muscles of an animal. The legends that you come across when you find this image say that it is a photo taken by a group of explorers who are trying to find the truth behind the mystery of a strange creature that prowled the caves of a remote area. Could that be true? And to finish in this position, we have the thumbnail image. I had to leave it in black and white and blur what's on the plate since I'm not sure if it's real or not, but it looks like it. It has certain parts that seem to have been manipulated in Photoshop, but I can't say for sure. It seems that there really was a blackberry pie on the plate, and then they superimposed the head of some animal. However, even though it is Photoshopped, it seems that the animal's head is real, and that is why I have decided to leave it blurred. Without a doubt, a very strange set of photos. Number 1 And we finish this collection with some photographs that to this day have become one of the biggest mysteries on the planet. I'm telling you about the photos of Hestelin. 
What you are seeing on the screen corresponds to photographs of the Hesselin lights, a mystery that persists over time. For more than a decade, in the Hesselin Valley, Norway, a series of lights have appeared periodically and continuously in the night sky, a spectacle that evades all scientific explanation. More than 1,000 sightings since 1980. Large universities have set up research centers to find out what they are about or how they occur, but so far there is no general agreement. Sometimes they move, and sometimes they stay static. Although the most skeptical people cling to the explanation of atmospheric effects or tricks of lights is what makes these images particularly disconcerting in their behavior. They move with apparent intelligence, gliding through the air in patterns that defy conventional explanations. What are these lights? Messages from another world? A natural anomaly? Tell me what you think about both this clip and the previous ones, because this video has already come to an end. My name is Leonor Clay, and this was The Darkest Secret.